Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today we're gonna to be reviewing and deep diving into Batman The Mask of the Phantasm, the 1993 DC animated theatrical film. And this is one of those films that is really a well done Batman film and ranks up there with one of my favorite Batman films actually of all time. Now this got a brand new 4K scan and restoration and I'm going to be doing my exclusive 4K versus the original Blu-ray release image comparisons to show you up above the native images and how this compares to show you accurately whether this is something you should buy and upgrade to or add to your collection or if it's something you should skip altogether. Then at the end I'll wrap it up with my review score as I always do to let you know the sum up total quality of this box set and if it's something you should actually buy. Now, if after you get done watching this video and hearing my review score, you do decide you want to buy Batman the Mask of the Phantasm on 4K, I've always put those direct sale links from Amazon in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section right below this video. That way, if you decide you're gonna buy this or add this to your collection, make sure to click on those links I've posted down below. They do help to support the creation of these videos just a tiny bit, but they never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra, and it's on sale for the same prices everywhere through those links I've posted directly below. Now to start off with up above, I'm gonna show you the Blu-ray release that was released from Warner Archive of Batman the Mask of the Phantasm. It's actually the Blu-ray that's included in this box set. I actually had it separately before, but it's the exact same disc they included in this deluxe edition set of Batman the Animated TV series. Now that disc is the only one of the film that's been released on Blu-ray by Warner Brothers at all. And it did look okay. I will say when I watched it originally, I did notice there was quite a bit of scenes that were very hard to see in the sense of they became very blurry and kind of just out of focus altogether. And I noticed that throughout the entire runtime, you'd find random scenes throughout it. And that's what you're seeing up above is the native images pulled directly from Batman the Mask of the Phantasm, the Warner Archive Blu-ray release. And that's what's up above. Now, for this new 2023 release of Batman the Mask of the Phantasm, Warner Brothers went back and did a brand new 4K scan and 4K restoration of the original camera negatives. That is what this native 4K 2160p presentation is created from. This does have HDR10 on it as well, and I'll get a little bit later on to about the difference the HDR10 makes. But I wanna talk about the restoration here for a second. As you're noticing in those images up above, there is a slight difference in what actually is the aspect ratio. Now, I'm not gonna to talk too long about the aspect ratio because I could make an entire video, 25, 30 minutes long, just talking about all of what went behind the aspect ratios of when this was originally created. But I'll touch briefly. Basically, Batman The Mask of the Phantasm originally was created as a TV film. Then Warner Brothers, about a year, year and a half before they released it, decided, no, we want to make this into a theatrical film. So they decided to change the aspect ratio. So the artists went back and expanded certain elements of it, added things to make it fit the actual aspect ratio that they wanted to release it theatrically. The reason it's important to understand this, this 4K release is the first time the Blu-ray was not that you're seeing above, the theatrical aspect ratio. This 4K is presented in its original theatrical aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1. That is the way it was originally presented in theaters through its entire runtime in its theatrical run. This is the first time on this 4K release that they've actually released it in that original theatrical aspect ratio, the way it was originally intended when they released it not the TV cut down version or edited version or changed version, whatever you wanna call it, they've all had slightly different elements of it, whether it's the top cut down, the sides cut down, whatever the case is, this is the way it was when I originally saw it back in 1993 in theaters. And this is the first time it's been released that way for us to watch it on home video. Now, as far as the previous Blu-ray release, it did have some nice little things that they gave a couple of different versions of the aspect ratio, but the image quality on that in comparison to this new 4K scan and restoration they did, I mean, to be honest with you, that Blu-ray does not hold a candle image quality wise to how nice of a restoration they did on this. If you enjoy movies and TV series, this channel's the place for you. Make sure to go down there and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, there's always going to be a bit of debate of people saying, well, I like a certain aspect ratio better than another. Here's my thoughts on it, and I'll be very brief on this. 
I like the original theatrical aspect ratio because that's what I saw it in theaters in 1993 and that's what I appreciate and enjoy it being released in. All the other aspect ratios to me are just kind of novelties that, hey, yeah, there's different ways you can view it. I appreciate the way that I originally saw it and that's my memories of it. So seeing it that way, that is the way I prefer to see it. And I am thankful that the restoration is done in the original intended theatrical aspect ratio. Now, talking about the HDR on this, this does have HDR 10, and this is where with animated films, as I've talked about, in like Prince of Egypt, if you have not checked out my 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review of that, you're gonna wanna check out that one after you get done with this review. But that was another animated film that got a 4K restoration on 4K Ultra HD. When I talked about it in that one, I've also mentioned that HDR can make a big difference with animated films on the lights to darks. For Batman, as most of you know, lights to darks is what Batman's all about. I mean, he's got those white glowing eyes, his black cowl with obviously the blue coming through, the grays, the yellows. And I can tell you on this 4K release, for once, those black lines and the glowing eyes look amazing with the HDR10 implementation. That is one of the biggest things you'll notice right away when you start watching this, when Batman breaks through that first glass window and you see him stand up and his cowl and his bright white eyes and the black cowl over him, Man, it's inky blacks and brilliant whites. That HDR10 implementation that Warner Brothers did for this looks amazing. And I will tell you, it did not have any black crush whatsoever. So they did a good job with those inky blacks and brilliant whites and all the other shades of colors and things that are implemented in this because it did get a brand new HDR10 master and color grading for this 4K restoration. And that's another big thing you will notice in comparison to that previous Blu-ray release is how amazing the colors come across on this. Because it is a hand-drawn animated film, a lot of those colors and shades and things like that really do blend together more or less in the previous Blu-ray release. And there's not as much variation in a lot of those shades because of the limitations on Blu-ray. Whereas with the HDR10, it does have a wider color gamut, which means there's more colors and shades to actually implement in that HDR10, which is why it looks so much better on this. And I will say the colors on this look wonderfully beautiful from beginning to end. They really do shine through wonderfully. Now, one other big thing I mentioned at the beginning. There was scenes, numerous scenes on that previous Blu-ray release that got very soft and just overall, if you watch it and you go through it, you'll notice it when you're watching in comparison to this. There is some scenes that the lines and the hand-drawn animation just look extremely soft and almost blurry at times. In this, it looks hands down impressive over that previous Blu-ray. And once you watch it on this, you won't wanna watch that Blu-ray again because of how big of an upgrade this was and how enjoyable this was. Now, I haven't even touched on one of the biggest upgrades in this 4K release. The image is great on this, but there's one massive upgrade we got in this that really did surprise me. On the previous 2017 Blu-ray from Warner Archive, that had an English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 mix. They did include the 2.0 on this, but here's the big treat that is included in this. We got a brand new remastered English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. I can tell you the clarity and the range on that really surprised me over the 2.0 mix that was included in that previous Blu-ray. The audio remastered mix that they included in this release only, it's not included in that previous Blu-ray release, is worth the price of admission just for the audio alone. If you put it in and you listen to the audio on this, even just the first few minutes, you put in that old Blu-ray, listen to that Blu-ray for the first few minutes, you'll be surprised at the little bits of like hisses and little like mumbles and distortions that are on that previous Blu-ray are completely gone on this. It is clear, it is clean. And I will tell you the English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 mix on this actually had a surprising amount of LFE that is missing almost completely from that old 2.0 mix. The LFE on this was very good. So in that sense, the 5.1 remastered audio mix that is included exclusively on this 4K release is a stark and wonderful upgrade over that previous Blu-ray that really just lends to the gorgeous score that's in it. It has a wonderful Batman theme song and score behind it. 
the voice actors that are in this, which there is a great special feature in this in honor of Kevin Conroy. I'll get to that here in just a few minutes talking about that special feature. It's something they made specifically for this 4K release and I really did enjoy it. That's another great addition and a reason why this 4K is a big worthwhile upgrade. But as far as the audio mix goes, that alone you will be blown away at how much really it is a nice addition and upgrade that'll really shock and surprise you. Now, showing what you get in this, I love these metallic slip covers that Warner Brothers has been doing. They've been doing a lot more of these lately. I will say I was a little surprised that Warner Brothers didn't have their 100th anniversary logo on this. They've been doing that for most of their releases this year. I'm fine they didn't do it, but I was kind of surprised it wasn't on there. On the side, it does say Batman Mask of the Phantasm. And on the back, they're using the DC Animated Movies kind of logo they've been using recently. Now, I did just recently review All-Star Superman. And I did a 4K versus Blu-ray review on that, talking about the DC Animated film All-Star Superman. I really enjoyed that film. If you haven't checked out that review, you'll want to go check out that one after you get done with this review. But they've been using that same sort of logo. Thankfully on this one though, it is a native 4K 2160p because of how they created this with that brand new 4K scan of the original camera negatives. On this it talks about you do get a digital movies anywhere from movies anywhere. I will tell you it's a 4K copy, but I will tell you image quality wise, when I sat down and compared the two, it does not compare to this native 4K with the higher bit rate and the quality on this. This has much better natural film grain present on it which the digital copy really was lacking most of that, which tells me it is very compressed down that digital version in comparison to what you actually get on the physical disc. So keep that in mind. If you watch the digital version, it is not the same as what you get on this physical 4K Ultra HD set. It does not look the same and it was dumbed down. You could clearly tell in comparison between the disc, 4K disc, and what's available digitally. It was dumbed down, whereas this is not. Now, talking about the new special feature, it's called Kevin Conroy, I Am The Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, anyhow. And it's in reference to Kevin Conroy passing and his legacy of Batman and playing Batman and voicing Batman and all the things he did over his history with DC Comics and his great voice that he had that really represented Batman. All growing up, I loved Batman. And then when this came on, when I was older and started watching it, I loved his voice and how great it just was the voice of Batman. It's a great special feature. It runs about 30 minutes and I highly recommend watching that. It is a wonderful special feature. It'll bring a tear to your eye. And it goes along greatly with this 4K restoration because Warner Brothers did a great job with it. Now inside here, this is where your digital copy code would be. It does not come with the previous Blu-ray release. I appreciate they didn't include that because to be honest with you, after you watch this 4K, you're never going to want to watch that Blu-ray again. 4K disc, I did test. It's 100% region free. So any of you worldwide that want to buy or import this, even if you're in the US, Canada, doesn't matter. That Amazon link I posted right below ships anywhere worldwide. Now, talking about the film grain in this that I briefly referenced, because they did that 4K scan, it does have the natural film grain as is present from the film that they created in 1993. It is nicely filmic. You will notice some slight, very slight dust particles and things from that 4K scan. But there's a story behind that. Warner Brothers shared that intentionally, when they went back and did this 4K restoration, they did not DNR or mess with the film grain that is naturally there from that scan to give this the most life and the most detail present from those natural film elements so that you can see it the best way it's ever been presented. And that is why the colors are so beautiful and why all of those details, especially with the inky blacks, brilliant whites, shine through so beautifully well on this over that previous 2017 Warner Archive Blu-ray. And I appreciate what Warner Brothers did on this because as most of you know, I'm a big cinephile. I love film restoration, how they do it, the programs they use, and I'm happy to report no DNR whatsoever was applied to this to remove any of the depth and detail that is in those film elements, including the colors and depth and detail that's in the film grain. They did not remove it in any shape or form and took a lot of loving care for this 4K release, which is why this is the best looking the Batman The Mask of the Phantasm has ever looked. Now, I did test the rough average bitrate. It had a healthy 61 megabits per second. I would have loved to have seen it up in the hundreds, but it was still healthy and it lends to the image and how nice it looks throughout it. It's not one of those that runs around 30 megabits per second and is very low ended. 
they did a decent job with it and to be honest with you it had plenty of room on the disc it is a bd66 but because there isn't tons of other things on it it actually has plenty of room to breathe and it lends to why this image looks so incredibly nice over that previous blu-ray release now one other thing i want to touch on about the audio because this is something a lot of people don't understand in 1993 when this was released theatrically there has always been a very very slight audio delay due to how they created the film and then how they record the voices afterwards and syncing them up that slight audio delay and sync is still present and has always been present on every single release of batman the mask of the phantasm that they've ever released theatrically and on home video it's still present on this it's not horrible but I'm going to point it out for those of you that have not experienced this film before or have simply not really paid attention. With that new remastered audio mix, it sounds amazing and it does sound much clearer and has better range than it ever had before on that 2.0 mix. With that though, some of those effects and things you can hear better than you ever heard them on that 2.0 mix. So some people might say, oh, I think it's worse. It is not. It's the same. I went back and forth between both the discs, playing them back and forth and back and forth. It's the exact same very very slight delay that's always been there since it was released theatrically because of how this animated film was created it's never going to change it's never going to go away warner brothers has stated specifically that is the way it was created that's the way it was finished that very very slight has always been there so for those of you that are new to this film i hope that explains it so that way you understand that is the way that it was created in 1993 and that's never going to change now, as I was talking about, this Batman film is one of my favorite theatrical Batman films of all time. The story is very engaging. I'm not going to give it away for you here, but it does keep you guessing. There's numerous twists. There's numerous turns. I love the Joker in it, and I love all of the different characters that it brought to this film and how you really get into the characters, the world it's building. It's a psychological, kind of almost psychological thriller of a Batman movie, which will really surprise you how adult the themes are in it, the story, the writing for an animated Batman film from 1993, which is why this film has held up so well even today. And this is one of those things that's kind of surprised me that over the years, they never went back and tried to create another amazing Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Not saying a sequel, but so much as they wrote such a great story, had such a great voice cast, such a great score for this. Why didn't they go back and try to do another one like this? They did a lot of those kind of like direct-to-video ones. But in my opinion, they've just never really held up as well or been as epic. And maybe it's because I saw this in theaters in 1993 that I really felt like this was just an epic Batman film. And I've really, really loved and enjoyed it over the years. Now, getting to my review score for Batman The Mask of the Phantasm on 4K Ultra HD, this gets an outstanding 9.5. This is a must buy, you need to buy, add to your collection, do not miss out on this. Show Warner Brothers how amazing of a job they did on this release. You will be amazed at how good this looks on a professionally calibrated high-end 4K display. There's no comparison to that old Blu-ray. No matter how many times you upscale that old Blu-ray, it does not compare to the depth and detail you'll see on this. Just the animation is so much in it. This is the max I see them ever doing, and this is the ultimate way to view this film. I don't see us ever getting anything ever better than this release, and I think this is the ultimate way that will always be available to watch this. When you see a lot of those scenes in that old Blu-ray, they got very, very soft and just really kind of blurred out some of the image. They're gone on this. This looks outstanding, and I was amazed at how great of a job they did with the restoration. The details in that animation shine through so much better with this 4K scan than they did on this, than it ever did on that Blu-ray. Now obviously you're never going to have the depth and detail you would on a human like skin and hair and things like that, but the most they can get out of that animation with all the different shades of the colors, it's represented the best way I've ever seen it on home video in this 4K Ultra HD release. Let me know how much of a fan you are of this Batman film in the comment section below. Let me know if you're going to buy this now that you've heard my review score. If you decide you're going to buy this now and add this to your collection now that you've heard my review score, make sure to use those Amazon sale links I posted right in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section below. Those links down there don't cost you a penny extra, but they do help to support exclusive videos just like this. All these exclusive 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison reviews take me on average three to four days to create every single one of these videos. 
I can only continue to create videos like this with all of you, my viewers and subscribers support. If you want to help to support the creation of these videos, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club as well. It only costs you a buck or two every month, but it does drastically help in the creation of these videos. So make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club and click through those links to buy any of these 4Ks I review in the description section and as a pinned comment in the comment section right below. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day and I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.